the Gospel of the fourth Sunday of Advent. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out and went as quickly as she could to a town in the hill country of Judah. She went into Zachary's house and greeted Elizabeth. Now as soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She gave a loud cry and said, Of all women, you are the most blessed, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why should I be honoured with a visit from the mother of my Lord? For the moment your greeting reached my ears, the child in my womb leapt for joy. Yes, blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. If you remember three years ago, there was chaos at Gatwick Airport due to the hovering of a um, drone overhead. It was bedlam for people jetting off for a bit of winter sun. That said, surely Christmas is about staying at home, not getting away. One of the songs on my Christmas CDs is entitled going home for Christmas, and the singer is really looking forward to being at home where he says his heart belongs. Now we see where Mary's heart belonged in the Gospel today. She couldn't wait to visit her cousin Elizabeth, and now don't forget that in the hill country of Judea is about 90 miles from Nazareth. So she didn't just walk around the corner, it wasn't just down the street, she had to make a special effort a strenuous effort, I would say, to visit our cousin or a kinswoman, Elizabeth. The Gospel says she went as quickly as she could to visit her. I think this meeting between Elizabeth and Mary reinforces elements of family life that we seem to be losing these days. Now, COVID-19, I know, hasn't helped. Sending Christmas cards is one thing. But like Mary and Elizabeth, we all also need to meet each other in the flesh. Less sporadically. Not just at funerals and weddings. Social media give the impression we're keeping in touch. But it's a very poor substitute for the real thing. That is, meeting face to face, like Mary and Elizabeth. Now I think this especially applies to home life. Parents need to spend more quality time I think with their children. Those four little boys who tragically lost their lives in the house fire in London were left alone in the house at the time. Now that was very heartbreaking. Why did that happen? Being a father or mother in the biological sense is one thing, but what proves your mettle is being there when they're very small. But being at home also means giving them quality time, not just being in the house on your own, doing your own thing. Parents who never give their smartphones a rest, for instance, can really get to their children. One little boy in year one was overheard saying, I hate my mum's phone. I wish it was never invented, he said. Now, Mary and Elizabeth were women of sturdy faith. Unlike her husband, Zachary, Elizabeth didn't doubt the angel who said she was conceived, even though she was past the age. Mary also took on board the angel's words who said she would conceive without human intervention. Some people are dismissive of all this because they say it's biologically impossible. But they forget what the angel said. Everything or nothing is impossible to God. Some people only believe what can be scientifically proven. They even question that Jesus worked miracles. 
Our Lord once asked Peter to cast out his nets in a place where he knew, as an experienced fisherman, that there were no fish whatsoever. Against his better judgment, he gave way to Jesus, saying, At your word, not my word, at your word, I will let down the nets. And we all know what happened. The boats nearly capsized with the amount of fish that they caught. Now that's the faith which Jesus wants individuals and families to have. Mary had it, as, and it, that saw her through all her difficulties, so also Elizabeth. Elizabeth, towards the end of the reading today, says, Blessed is the fruit of your womb. Now wouldn't it be great if every mother could hear those words from our spouse, her family, her friends. So at this juncture, may the life-giving message of Christmas find a home in our hearts, making it a joy-filled time for all of us. Thank you for listening. God bless you all and have a very happy and holy and peaceful Christmas.